Once I started thinking about the statue, I thought, well, how do I find people that can create the statue for me? So I did what most people would do nowadays, I went on to Google. And I particularly wanted to find sculptors that had actually delivered a, a human mannequin, if you wish, uh, as part of their past experience. I think um, with regard to Laurie's, one of the things that really caught me was the work she did on the rugby player for the Welsh, uh, the Welsh one. Uh, and the video which was uh, that went with that and I was very impressed where she met with a uh, somebody that advised her on the uh, the torso and how it should look and all that but it demonstrated that she was prepared to seek advice from others to make sure she got the end project right but that part of it in itself uh, impressed me that she could deliver the statue but she was also very much wanted to make sure that the detail was not just representative but as near as possible identical to what it should be and it was for that reason um, I, that I actually decided to go with Laurie. There, there was another sculptor who was very close but uh, there was no demonstration in her going to that extra length to make sure the project was as near perfect and, what it sh and as if he was going to just suddenly walk away from that standing pose which I got the feel of from Laurie, that's what she was aiming for. She certainly came across as very passionate and very focused uh, and very much knew what she was doing and where she was going. Which I was also impressed about the questions she asked on the way through of other people as well to make sure she got the period clothing correct and, and got advice from, from others on that. And I think that really um, demonstrates her professionalism. She wasn't using her artistic interpretation in that regard. She was actually trying to actually pull together somebody that, again, would just walk off the set back in 1664. And she had a very difficult job, actually, because all we had is one painting of him when he was in his uh, much younger, in his 20 to 30s. And I wanted her to represent the man who would be, then be in his 50s, which is the age he was when he actually named New Jersey, hence the 350th anniversary of just living the statue this year. So I think um, I, she was very focused. Uh, was not frightened to ask for advice and uh, opinions of others. She's delivered as I would have expected, uh, on time. Uh, she knew the time frame I was working to, and she's met all of those things, gave me some options, and um, I'm absolutely excited and, and, and very pleased we're here today.